fears about the spread of a deadly new virus grow. Singapore has just confirmed its first case of the virus. That COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. A topsy-turvy year it was. We all did think that living in the year 2020 is special because that is the only year you are likely to live wherein the first two digits will match the second two digits, 2020. It marked two decades after the millennium, but every week just looked like a day, a day which was repeated over and over again. Our words just couldn't describe nature's rapid events. And suddenly, we went bleak on our goals and plans. Seems like Thanos didn't snap his fingers this time. But a virus did. Nations, business, education, industries, innovation, economy, our society. Just everything came to a standstill. But before we could even understand what happened, we had already lost more than one and a half million brothers, sisters and family. What we could see was just empty roads, no busy traffic, dust covered classrooms, the continuous infections and deaths which was being reported on the news. The poor became weaker and nations rushed to create a vaccine. Many of us even had a personal or close loss thereby started living back in our true sense of emotions. You might want to forget this roller coaster year, but these times have taught us our lives and it's best to remember it. People reiterated kindness, compassion and hope. People rose above identities, nationalities to keep and help people to persevere together. Youth stood for their people's rights in many parts of the world, like the United States of America, Hong Kong or Thailand. MNCs like Twitter or Facebook announced that they will let employees work from home permanently. 2020 did not stop us, but instead paused us. Do you know the outcome of that pause? The sudden drop of pollution led the ozone layer to heal itself, resulting in closing its holes. For the first time in decades, the beautiful sight of the snow-covered mountain peaks of the Himalayas were visible. Our rivers naturally became so clean that a few were even said to be fit for drinking. Actually, there was a 500% decrease in the sewage and industrial effluents in our rivers. In places like Delhi, residents finally breathed clean air after months of severe pollution. We happily wore suits up in work meetings while wearing pyjamas and shorts down below. At this point, we are now in the celebrations of welcoming 2021 and 2020 is just over. Do you remember something at this point? Vision India 2020. The vision which was laid by Dr. Abdul Kalam two decades ago. It was a plan and effort to transform our country into a developed nation by the year 2020. And we the youth are the highly responsible people for that work. Sure that we have kind of come a long way and exponentially grown to the place we stand today. But our responsibility is not just over until the goal is reached. A point when India becomes the Vishwa Guru, being able to provide solutions to our world's problems. Our responsibility for development and peace still lies ahead. Amidst all these, time doesn't stop, neither for you nor for the pandemic. This entire year has indeed ended before we could even rewind it, its events. It feels like everything just started yesterday. We have lived a year which is going to be in the history. Probably you will have to share your experience of how the world was locked up and withstood the pandemic to your grandchildren. So remember this year and its learnings. When I say the world's learnings, I'd have to say this. In spite of our empty classrooms, our mind was filled with knowledge. And we all gotta agree that. Both through the life learnings and the technological ones. If students and youth could relate to me, 
we learned so much more than what a syllabus could have taught us in a year. We understood that there is so much more than cramming texts, sitting in classrooms or just competing our own friends. Just as the year ends, I take this moment to thank the people who made our lives better during these tough times. Thank you doctors and frontline workers. You are our real superheroes. Thank you for saving our lives. Thank you cleaners. You have saved and are saving so many lives through your work. Thank you teachers who quickly adapted to technology in pursuit to help us continue our education. Thank you garments, youth and people of nations who hustled to make sure that we push ourselves to safety and prosperity. Thank you to the children of key workers who led their superhero parents save the world sacrificing their personal wishes. Close your eyes for a moment and thank the people who made your life easier in these tough times. The coronavirus pandemic may not be just coming to a end, but the 2020, the year, the roller coaster year is ending and the new beginnings of 2021 have begun. 2020 will definitely be remembered being one of the turning points in human history, the turn of events and time which made us rediscover and reinvent ourselves. Together we need to realize this, take all these learnings and work for the peace and development of every human being. Remember that the virus didn't have prejudices, it took away human lives without seeing high and low. If that was the case for destruction, we must pledge that peace and development should reach people across the world without any frontiers. Happy New Year 2021! This time, take up a resolution to be a better human being with humanity rather than any other fancy goals which is of no use. We have survived a pandemic together. Remember to plant love and humanity right from now. Let's create a better world together.